Hey, Doc, I know you like talking about green beans, don't you? I do, I do. I feel <laughs> that tomatoes get maybe even too much attention. They get a lot of love. Right? Yeah. They get a lot of yeah. love, that's for sure. So I came from a very serious green bean family. Huh. In fact, it's really funny. We'd eat any tomatoes, but we were picky <laughs> about our green beans. So y'all liked it that much? <laughs> yes. How about that? Yes. Okay. Yep. <laughs> so yeah, tell us a little bit about the different options of green beans that are out there for us. Right, yeah. Okay. So actually, bringing up tomatoes, okay, it's interesting you. because there are some similarities in growth habits, right? Okay. So we actually would have the option of a bush bean, which think of as a determinant, okay. right? And gotcha. then we have pole beans, which are an indeterminate, right? Okay. Continue to produce leaves and flowers over a much longer plant. And funny enough, we literally <laughs> have something that's in the middle too. We got half runner, or we could almost think of it sort of as a semi-determinant. Uh, so we have a variety okay. in growth habit as one of the first things to consider. Okay. I never thought about it like that. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's something new. Golly, yeah. how about that? Um, so, you know, that is, of course, it, you know, depends on your setting. Do you have enough room for, say, a traditional teepee uh, or okay. um, cattle panels, okay. mesh netting can be very good for pole beans. So for those, we're going to need some kind of a vertical okay. structure. So they have to go up. Okay. Yeah. And, and actually, it is easier if you have some kind of a structure for, for your half runners. Okay. So I'm going to throw in a little comment about uh, half runners because they are, oh, they're they're sort of like a geographically um, nuanced uh, favorite, right? So I am from the you know the western side of West Virginia, and kind okay. of the middle part of Appalachia is half runner territory, <laughs> and so it is the only thing okay. that my grandmother would eat. It's the only bean that that we ever grew, okay. and I say that because <laughs> I feel like you know you may be from kind of outside of half runner territory. I, I am, yeah. Yeah. Originally from uh, Mississippi, yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Pole beans, yeah. Yes, yeah, and so us. then yeah. as you get a little bit further uh -huh. south, then you get into more pole bean yeah. pole territory. Yeah. So, um, and then of course, you know, your more traditional true bush beans are kind of grown, oh, yeah. you know, grown everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Can you talk so, a little bit more about those half runners though? Because I don't think many people know about those. Yeah, yeah. so they are, um, you know, kind of a semi vine okay. uh, type. And I mean, early, you know, on, like you used to be able to find them a lot kind of in small scale, you know, you pick or, or a market garden. So, I mean, they are, you know, harvested um, more mature lots of times than what you would say, you know, filet type um, bean. But most of the time they are eaten and we don't dry them like we would, you know, a pole oh, bean, okay. you know, for, for leather you. bridges. Okay. So, okay. Um, you know, they, for us, they were a traditional canning bean. But a high quality half runner, you'll be able to get a fairly mature bean in the pod and still retain mm. a fairly tender bean. So this is, you know, this is the, <laughs> the crucial quality factor. And some of the, you know, we now have heirloom options and, you know, a lot of seed collecting. And so for half runners, the big thing is a non-tough half ah, runner because, that. yeah. yeah. That. So that's why grandma liked them like that. Yeah. Oh, okay, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. All right, so we can talk about some yeah. of those. Uh, yeah, know, about so for our, um, so for, these are actually some selections that we've done in our home garden variety trials. Nice. And lots of times what we try to do is make sure that we have, uh, you know, a more traditional bush option. And when we think about the bush beans, a lot of times what we see now are ones that can be bred as a processing okay. bean, right? Okay. So those are gonna be straight, often dark green, um, you know, a snap flavor, you know, snap crunch, okay. and, you know, not very much bean, um, not very mature, you know, okay, when, when they're true. harvested, okay. yeah, so, um, uh, mostly pod. And so lots of times, but very space efficient, you know, we start to get into good disease, um, you know, resistance options, a lot of times some of our more common rust or our mosaic virus will have in a lot of those uh, newer, oh, newer nice. bush beans. Okay. So, okay. you know, so we always try to, to have some, you know, kind of standard Bush beans, um, some of our favorites over the years, Jade, oh, Crockett. Right. Um, and then we kind of get into, um, last year we grew Contender. It was very, okay. you know, it performed uh, very well, Provider. So all of those, <laughs> you know, are, you know, are standards and have, have done well okay. in our trials. Then you go into kind of the filet uh, category, okay. which is a thinner bean <laughs> harvested very immature. And uh, I always smile when I talk about uh, filet I, I can beans. tell you like this. Yeah. Because <laughs> there are some folks who, I mean, I enjoy a filet uh, bean, okay. <laughs> but it is not everybody's taste because we're eating mostly pod, right? So right. kind of an old fashioned bean eater mm -hmm. will say, 
what is wrong with this bean? There is no bean in, in my bean, yeah. right? <laughs> and right. so, right. yeah, so filet beans, but there are some <laughs> good cultivars that can be pretty compact, mascots in all American selections when it has a nice compact plant. Um, Maxabel has been one that's performed well that's in our right. trials. It's a longer bean, so the, okay. you know, they do tend to be small. So it that's takes a while to think them, right? So I like the, um, the larger ones. Okay. Um, but there's lots of fun in terms of, you know, you have wax beans, which are yellow. Okay. And then uh, one of our favorites from two years ago um, are actually um, cultivar called amethyst. And so they're gorgeous purple. Amethyst. Raw. Raw. If you cook them, they turn green. Um, so, mm. but, uh, but, but there are, you know, a productive bush bean. And so that combination of color, you know, can be really, really great addition to summer salads and, and things like that. Yeah. They'll, they'll look very similar to your green beans. You like that. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Um, and then we move into the pole. Hey, come on to the pole beans. Come, category. come down yes. south. Okay. And, uh, and I will say that, um, much like when I talk about heirloom tomatoes, I try to never be too definitive about pole <laughs> beans, right? Because this is serious territory and we yeah. don't joke around. Pole bean country. Yeah, right. with things like that. Um, so some of our favorites from the trials, Kentucky Wonder oh, yeah. has done very well. And what we have really enjoyed doing over the last few years is even some heirloom and kind of some, you know, unique cultural elements. Okay. So one of our favorite heirlooms, I actually have a few with me. These are rattlesnake yeah. and they are you can see kind of a, a little bit of a speckled bean but they have a mottled purple and green um, pod also they are they are gorgeous i know that people may not believe that beans are highly photogenic but they are beautiful they're beautiful we beautiful actually beans. grew some in the family plot garden so we know about that. okay yeah. awesome yeah, so beautiful. we love yes. we love the rattlesnake um kentucky wonder of course traditional oh, yeah. um yeah. green um, some of our other favorites have actually been, last year we grew turkey crawl, um, <laughs> which, nice. and uh, you, you got to enjoy kind of the Appalachian history <laughs> okay. of this, right? So um, where do you think that it came from? Turkeys crawl, right? Oh my And gosh. so it is a beautiful <laughs> okay. speckled bean. And the fun thing about some of those heirlooms is that you can eat them fresh. Okay. Uh, as a snap type uh, bean, or they can be great for leather britches, for drying, so yeah, so lots of fun lots in the of bean fun. territory. Yeah. <laughs> All right, but if you get the yep. resistant varieties, you don't have many issues with green right. beans, right? Yeah, yeah. So um, right. right, you you're yeah. moving into management. Yeah, this management. Yeah. yeah. So uh, selection is my favorite topic. I okay. Know. Okay. Management. Yeah, I can tell. Yeah. Is um is fairly straightforward for most uh, beans. So well drained soils, you know, can um, keep us away from uh, some of those challenges. With resistance, yeah, the rust, the uh, mosaic of viruses, yeah. we can um, largely, largely avoid. I think that I see more insect pests with beans than disease. Would you agree in your I would, I, You know what, I, I do agree with that. I do agree with that. Okay. Um, and so our favorite is, assessment. our favorite, um, our favorite pest that we dislike, right, is, of course, the Mexican bean beetle. Yeah. And okay. so it is the, yeah. the pest in a family of really helpful beetles, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So yeah. same family as our beneficial lady beetles, but it is a leaf feeder. Yeah. And so, you know, early, you know, scouting, you can even trap crop. Uh, even if you don't Let's like fillet <laughs> beans, you can always use them as a trap crop, and then you just pull them up and throw them away, and uh, they, they you, you know, provide a service provide of it, protecting right. your pole I, beans and your half runners, right? I got so, it. Yeah, so even in I the pole it. bean south, fillet beans will, uh, will have a very valuable purpose. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, folks. Green beans, right? Yeah. <laughs> By Dr. Natalie Bogarner. <laughs> she yeah. likes talking about them. Appreciate that. That's good. Yeah. They're beautiful, right? <laughs> they are. Gorgeous. <laughs> Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. To find out more information on this topic, just click on the familyplotgarden.com link in the description.